Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, Cat's death in Halo Reach was very sudden and tragic, but also very controversial, and a lot of people questioned it at the time. Like, they're like, there's no way Cat would die that easily, or why didn't she have her shields up, you know? Or, or maybe her shields were up, why didn't they absorb the, the shot that she was sniped with? Well, for this video, I'm showing you guys the secret about Cat's death, the truth about Cat's death. That Oni and the Covenant probably don't want you to know about. So let's watch Cat's death scene again. We're gonna watch in very slow motion because we can see what actually happens. So right off the bat, you saw there that uh, the, the thing she gets shot with, it's so powerful that it actually knocks her head off. <laughs> um, <laughs> that that's actually just uh, swapping the helmet from her normal helmet to the one with the uh, the hole in it. Uh, but it, it is kind of like funny to see that in slow motion. But Anyways, let's uh, let's analyze the scene and see what's actually going on here. So the the projectile that killed her, it is actually called a kill shot projectile. It is a unique projectile in Halo Reach that is only used in this cutscene. It's it's an actual projectile. It's not it's not the same needler shard or needle rifle shard that you, you use in gameplay. It is a unique projectile that's only ever fired in this cutscene. And it's fired from this point here, FX bro head. It, so the projectile spawns there and it just gets fired downwards towards cat. So that is where the projectile actually originates from. And I kind of covered this in a previous video, but um, basically the shot literally comes out of nowhere. However, up above the building, up all the way here in the skybox, we can see there's a floating focus rifle here and it's called Zealot Sniper. It's just a regular focus rifle scenery object, not an actual weapon, but just a scenery object of a focus rifle. And in the cutscene, you know, it's just floating here, but later in the cutscene, the Phantom will spawn in, and the elite that shot Cat, the Field Marshal, will actually be holding that focus rifle. So, I mean, the, the thing to note here is that normally the cutscene, it seems like she was sniped by a needle rifle, but she was actually sniped by a focus rifle firing a needle, like a needle round or at least what we thought was a needle round, but it turns out it is actually a unique projectile. But what's so special about that projectile? So right here, I have a needle rifle using just the standard needle projectile. You know, it, it ricochets, it bounces, it has the trail and everything. It, it's, that, that's what it looks like. And against um, other enemies, you know, like the Spartan there, it takes several shots to get through the shield before you can super combine it. Uh, the the jackal shields like are pretty much almost impervious to it. It takes a lot of shots to like to break the jackal shield with the needle rifle, so it's uh it's pretty much ineffective against it. And against like other characters like the the Guta, the needle rifle is pretty much useless. It it, it like barely even flinches from it. it doesn't like it, it doesn't even like super combine it. And of course, the needle rifle can't break through hunter armor either. You have to hit the uh, the hunter's like weak spot. Now, this is the um, the kill shot projectile. I, I swapped the projectile, so now the needle rifle is firing that special projectile. You can see it doesn't ricochet. There's no trails, and it sticks into any surface, even like rocks. And uh, with the Spartan, as you can see there, I, I just shot it in the shoulder, and the shields didn't even like light up. It just went right through the shield. And same thing with the jackal here. The, the kill shot projectile, it just passes right through the jackal shield. In fact, it even super combines on the jackal shield. And the brute there didn't even stand a chance. How about the Guta? Well, the Guta, I, I can super combine it twice with the kill shot projectile and it dies. Whereas it was pretty much impervious and couldn't super combine from the uh, the normal needle rifle projectile. On the hunter, just on a shield arm, I can like significantly damage it and super combine it. It does. It has like no resistance at all, and it only takes a few super combines from the needle from the uh, the kill shot projectile to kill a hunter. So somehow the Covenant have developed like a a super weapon that like pierces like Spartan shields like it's nothing. Uh, so because it's like a focus rifle in the cutscene, I, I did kind of make a, an approximate idea of what it would look like. I, I just made like a kind of like a charged weapon here so that the uh, the focus rifle shoots out the. Uh, the kill shot round and uh well i mean it, it i don't know if that's actually accurate i don't know if that's how it's actually fired with the focus rifle in the cutscene it, it probably is technically just an oversight by bungie but 
you know, we, we like to imagine that the uh, the Covenant had like some kind of secret weapon that they field tested on Reach, and they used it against Cat. Because uh, during this cutscene, I wanted to test if her shields were actually up. And unfortunately, if I try to shoot her, the, the bullets actually just pass right through her. Um, I think it's something going on with like how the cutscene animations work. But there's nothing in the tags and the cinematic tags of the script that actually disable her shields. So technically speaking, like physically speaking, uh, her shields should be up on her biped. Which means that the kill shot projectile probably exists so that it can actually just bypass her shields and like all her armor and everything. That's probably the technical reason why Bungie made a special projectile just for that. But I, I, it'd be like kind of like a funny like little interesting secret lore that the Covenant developed some kind of secret like needle railgun shot that could pass pass through like Spartan shields and even like jackal shields and do like massive damage to uh, everything else. Uh, so yeah, there you guys have it. That is the truth about Cat's death and like how she actually died. Uh, and what actually killed her. So hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting. If you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts about uh, all this. You know, if this makes more sense now for like why she died. Because, you know, people were, people were, weren't satisfied with how she died. They, they thought she died way too easily. Uh, but now, we do have an explanation of why she died. She was killed by like a Covenant super weapon, essentially. And you can see that in gameplay, it is actually a very powerful projectile. So... Let me know your thoughts on that. What do you think about uh, this new revelation? Uh, but aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.